that human residents could be connected to the beginnings of life itself. The breakthrough came at the hands of Luc Montagnier, the Nobel Prize winning scientist who first discovered the HIV virus. The professor was conducting water memory experiments, examining how water could retain a memory of substances that had previously been dissolved in it, when he stumbled upon something that would challenge the very principles of science. All life comes from life. This is a fundamental principle of science and one which has never been violated in any experiment. Life can only exist where life has existed before. And the mechanism for this has always been understood to be a material one, such as egg and sperm or spore and cell division. But Luc Montagnier's experiments have offered a very different hypothesis. The professor showed that DNA sequences, the very building blocks of life, communicate with each other in water by emitting low frequency electromagnetic waves. Even when the DNA was kept in separate test tubes, the professor still recorded electromagnetic communication between them. How sophisticated could this communication be? Well, Luc Montagnier showed they are able to organize nucleotides, the ingredients which actually make up DNA, into brand new DNA. Scientists combined these ingredients countless times before, but in no experiment have they ever been able to recreate the spark of life and transform nucleotides into actual DNA, not without DNA already being present. Life after all can only exist where life has existed before. But in Luc Montagnier's experiments, the DNA had been completely filtered from the water. Yet new DNA was still formed. Just how was this possible? How had Luc Montagnier managed to achieve what no other scientist could? And create life where no life was present? What was so different about Luc Montagnier's experiments? there was the presence of a frequency. A frequency which, when removed, would cause the experiments to fail, but when present, would ensure that they would succeed. That frequency was 7.83 Hertz. Schumann resonance. A delicate relationship had been struck between life and the frequency of the planet. An interaction of living organisms and electromagnetic frequencies. A reliance. A bond. Evidence of this can be found by reading the science papers. But more obvious proof can be found by simply walking outside. <laughs>